Really? Yo, what up, guys? I just want to go over some really basic details on the Achilles lock that a lot of beginners seem to miss, even in, in my gym. Uh, everywhere I, I see people trying where they're putting in their Achilles lock and going all out with their hips and everything and, and not getting it. So I really want to just dig into some of the specifics about where everything should be. So one of the first problems, and we're going to start with the assumption I've got my reap, I've got my leg control. So we're just going to look at this, okay? So first thing, you want to get this part of your wrist, the very sharpest, most distal part of your wrist, uh, right in here, right into the deepest part of his uh, Achilles. The lowest part right above his heel, right? And you don't want to go too far through. That's the more meaty part of your forearm. You want to keep the sharp, bony part through and there. Now, this next part that people mess up is they just squeeze, right? So if my armpit is up here, I'm basically just compressing his ankle, and that's why we end up having to activate our hip more to get the lock. But really, want, we, we want this wrist to be a fulcrum and to drive his foot downward. So really, your armpit should be here, just like on a toe hold, right? So you don't want your armpit to be any deeper than, say, about here. Okay, so we get the wrist in, we're pinching, and I'm about there, right? Next spot, next next uh, thing is, look at the position of my forearm. It's on top of his heel, almost the opposite of a heel hook, right? So a heel hook, my forearm would be this way. For the Achilles lock, your forearm should be on top of it, pressing it to your ribs to keep it from being able to rotate, right? So. If my wrist is in the right place, you should only be able to see my knuckles because the sharp part of my wrist is there. My forearm should be over his heel so I can press it down. And my shoulder should be just on the lower part of the instep, not only on the toes, but just above the toes, right? So I can really use this fulcrum. So now you do all three. I'm gonna rotate this bone into him. My forearm, prevents the rotation of his uh, foot by pressing on the heel, and then my shoulder rotates back. My shoulder is what pushes the foot into the Achilles, uh, into my wrist, right? So this is when you know you have a really good one. I don't really have to arch my back or drive my hips. It's all about proper position here, right? It's when you're too deep or too high on the leg or too low on the, too high on the foot, then you have to really start driving, driving, driving your hip in, right? That's the classic, uh, oh, it's just a pain move. But when you're here, with your forearm, you see, look, I don't even have to do much, it's already tapping, so. This is the movement, my forearm is pressing this down, there's a fulcrum here, which is my wrist, and my armpit is pushing this back. That's the proper Achilles lock. And then the last little tip is if you are too high on the leg and you need to adjust your position, see my foot here is against his hamstring. I'm going to shrimp out a little bit, slide, and then come back in. Make sure my positions are correct and then finish the Achilles. Hope that helps.